If the average taxpayer who makes $140,000 per year owes the government $18,200 with a standard deviation of $1,500, and the IRS receives a 1040 tax document from a customer who owned or who earned $140,000 that claims he only owes $12,000, should the IRS suspect the taxpayer has likely made an error? This question here, should the IRS suspect that the taxpayer has made an error, the reason why they might think this is an error is because it seems low. So the question is, is it so low that it would seem like an error? So basically they're getting at the idea, is this unusually low? And so if we think about that idea, whether it's unusual or not, we should think about possibly using the z-score. Because the z-score is one of the techniques we have to determine if something seems unusual. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's actually create a formula for the z-score. So remember, the z-score is equal to x, the score you want to convert, minus the mean. That gives you the distance the score is from the mean, divided by the standard deviation. And that just tells you how far away it is in terms of standard deviations. Okay. Now, let's make sure we have these values in the problem. You can see I've underlined them, right? If the average taxpayer who makes $140,000 per year owes the government $18,200, so that's our mean, right? That's how much the typical taxpayer who makes this much money per year would owe. Then it has a standard deviation of $1,500, so we have that information. And then the number we want to see if it's unusual or not is $12,000. We're going to put that $12,000 in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that then. Let's fill in the information for our z-score formula. Okay, so again, I know the mean is 18,200, and I know the standard deviation is 1,500, and the value I want to convert into a z-score is the 1,200, or $12,000, right? So 12,000. Okay, so I enter those values in, and we'll see what we get. I'll go ahead and use my calculator to speed up the process here. It'll be 12,000 minus 18,200, right? So that's going to be a difference of 6,200. And then divide that by the 1,500. And we end up with negative 4.13. So I've rounded it a little bit, or uh, rounded it here, because the um, 0.13, the 3, repeats after that. So either way, it's a negative 4.13 standard deviations away from the mean. What this tells us is that um, the z-score for $12,000 is four standard deviations, a little more than four standard deviations below average, and that would put us in the unusual range. Anything below three is definitely unusual. Even below two is pretty rare, so at least with respect to the idea that, you know, no less than 75% of the data is between two standard deviations below and two above, right? So if you're below two, you're already in a, a pretty small minority of the population, but this is... Um, minus 4.13 standard deviations. So we'll definitely consider, consider this 12,000 pretty unusual. And in that case, it might possibly be an error. The IRS should probably look into the um, tax document closely to see if they can find a mistake.